Voice meter is finally making its way over to Mac. Well, it's not technically voice meter. It's another audio company called Ginger Audio. Ginger has created an outstanding application for Mac users interested in having a virtual mixer that integrates flawlessly with OBS. Not only is it perfect for OBS users on Mac, but it works great as an additional tool for any user of Mac computers. This app is called Ground Control Caster Live. Something that makes this app unique to voice meter is the fact that it does not require virtual audio cables to add additional audio sources. It's actually silly how easy it is to add audio sources into this app. But before we dive into that, let's talk about what's included on the free version of this app. Caster is the free version of this app. On the free version of the app, you'll get access to one audio source to control. This obviously should be your desktop audio source. The app separates the audio sources on the left and has the output source on the right. In the output sources window, one of them is your stream output and the other one is your headphone or desktop output. You can select where the audio output sources go by utilizing the drop down menu here. For the stream output, it will just suggest that you select the caster output source as an input source within OBS or any of your recording slash streaming software. You can also select which output you want to monitor by clicking these ears here. An interesting feature built into the outputs of this app is the Luff meter. You can fine tune what the Luff meters are measuring as well as adjusting the meter for different outputs. For instance, if you wanted to have it set for YouTube, you could do that here. For each of the audio sources on the left, you can toggle on or off the two outputs by selecting these buttons here. The free version of the app also comes with a soundboard. This adds a level of creativity to those creators that want to utilize sounds while recording or streaming. However, in the free version of the app, you won't be able to set up keybinds or hotkeys for these soundboard effects, meaning you'll have to manually click them from the app. Now, one of the biggest selling points of this app for me and this is mainly because this is something that voice meter does not have and it's something i've suggested that they add to their app for many years and that is vst plugin support this app specifically supports au plugins which is a huge deal for anyone wanting to have their processing and mixing all in one location they have a few of their own plugins but most importantly you can apply these plugins to any of the sources on the app including the output sources the free version of the app also has a recording tool built in. This is fairly simple and straightforward to use. You simply click the recording button and then you click it again to stop it. It will save a file with the recording separated from each source. This makes it so incredibly easy when you're editing these audio sources in post. And lastly, for the psychopaths out there that like a light mode, you can toggle between light or dark mode using this app. As you can tell, there's a lot of features to this app and this is just a free version. Obviously, the biggest addition to the premium version is the additional input sources or the additional audio sources. You can have up to eight audio sources on this app. This allows you to separate your microphone, applications, instruments, anything that you have on your Mac computer. With the input edition, you get the bonus of having MIDI control for any device that you have that uses this protocol. This is obviously a big deal for musicians. I don't have any MIDI devices, so unfortunately I can't show you how this works, but if you use MIDI devices, you get the idea. As I mentioned before, you will also get access to keybinds within the app on the premium version. There's a keybind for nearly every single thing that you can do on this app. It's very useful, especially Especially if you want to utilize the soundboard. And if you haven't noticed yet, you can also adjust the volumes of each one of these sources independently. So if you want the stream output to be quieter than the desktop output, you can do so. Now, obviously, Mac users, this is a huge deal and a huge upgrade from what you're used to. There's very few streamers that stream from a Mac computer, but this tool here will bring up the production value for any streamer. You can check out this app using the link in the description below. And if you haven't seen the SteelSeries Sonar app for Windows, you need to check it out here.